What's up, everybody? It's the homie True Teller, the street reporter. You know, somebody just ran up on me who spotted me and asked me something about Chief Keef, and I kind of want to share it with you. Um, and it's crazy because I did about 100 blogs on this, uh, so he must have been new to the channel. But he had asked me, do I believe Chief Keef turned on his homies? Uh, and I found that crazy because I noticed academics had a video out on YouTube about that. So I think he probably just got to watch an academic video and wanted to ask me that. Uh, a lot of people say shit about warrants. He got warrants, so he can't come back to the city. And I tell people, Keith don't look like the dude who's got no damn warrants. That man got a bag. He don't give a fuck about no warrants. That's a street dude. Uh, I think Chief Keith was out here before a lot of these guys. You know, what Dirk and them going through right now with the feds watching them, police on them, uh, the media paying attention to everything they say, beefs, war, dead homies, mentions, and songs. Keith was doing that a long time ago. I think Keith is from the O, so he know he can get very treacherous. He know a lot of things growing up, so he knew automatically that the back door would be open for him. He knew not to trust niggas no more. When he got into that beef with, like, T-Roy, which was a close friend of his, he got the beefing with Boss Top. He seen that video, a nigga saying they're going to rob him and take his chains. You know, they actually had a chain. I don't know if you remember a long time ago, like, Bay Zoo and Lil Durk and them posted, like, jewelry of Chief Keefs and shit like that. I think Keith realized that the back door was open. He knew not to trust niggas. He knew Chicago was like that, you know. And he done lost family members, relatives, cousins, close homies to gun violence out here. Keith was smart. I'm not sure if people realize, but Keith took who he cared about with him. And people who he had love for, he still fuck with them, but he ain't taking niggas with him. Keith ain't did no feature with none of these niggas. Keith ain't did no songs with none of these niggas. You don't see Keith in the hood with these niggas. And if you don't make it, Keith probably ain't gonna fuck with you. You gonna have to make it big in the industry to be able to fuck with Keith. So I just think Keith knew it was shifty shit going on. I think it's a little deeper than that. You know, we can speak on this topic for hours, but I think that's one of the main things. The back door was open. And Keith understand that his life is valuable. And he knew about a lot of shady shit before everybody else did, you know. But uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to keep you updated on that. It's the homie true.